Hey everybody. It's uh it's Kyle. I'm uh, I'm here by myself, I'm all alone. So alone. So alone. So we're I'm having an issue with one of our videos. The footage that I recorded, uh I had to cut it into pieces. For reasons that I won't go into, one of the pieces got corrupted, it, ended, it led to losing about 15 minutes at the beginning of the last episode, and uh, I didn't really want to do that, I didn't really want to have that happen, so I figured I'd uh, go back and re-record the video portion, but the thing is, Sonic 06 doesn't let you go back. It doesn't let you redo anything. So, if I want to get back to where I was, the only way to get there is to start over. So, I'll have to delete this file. I'll have to delete this save file, and I'll have to start all over from the beginning, play all the way through as much as we already showed of Sonic's story to get all the way back there. It's just... <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready, but... You know, I, just, I, got, I feel like I have to do it. Let's do it. <sighs> oh, man. It's gonna suck ass. This is like... I don't know, this is like the Let's Play equivalent of like... Running back into the burning house because you realized like the dog didn't make it out with you or something. Sega. Fucking service games. God, that music sounds so sinister now. Oh. Let's do it. Oh. Final Fantasy Girl sees... Lavos from Chrono Trigger, and then Elmer Fudd comes and summons Odin, and then a blue hedgehog kicks a robot, and someone sees the Iblis Trigger. Oh, I can just skip this. Jeez. Oh, man, I'm putting myself through more stress than is necessary. He's going to save the girl. She knows. Throws him a Chaos Emerald. Watches Guy fly away. Decides instead of chasing to go ask townspeople. This is what happens. What's Eggman up to? I need to oh, get some inverted camera. Fuck. So slow. Alberto Robert. Nope. Talk to Tails. Hover Fox wants to help. Talk to Alberto Robert. Get custom shoes. Become bros with shopkeeper. Buy light dash. Hammer on start button to skip cutscene. This 
Let me, let me see here, this guy. Okay. Um, so it looks like this guy's name is Alberto Robert? Alberto Robert. And, uh, oh, he's, uh, he's a shoemaker. Looks. Huh. Oh, okay, so he needs to, he needs me to test a pair of shoes for him. So I'm going to do that. Oh, oh, great news, you guys. Okay, so it turns out I tested the shoes perfectly. Everything's going great with the shoes. But uh, this guy, Alberto, Alberto Robert, he's so pleased with how well that was the shoes fit me. He's just going to give them to me. I don't even have to, like, pay for them or anything. He's just going to give them. Like, I, I just have the custom shoes now. So I can just use them whenever I want. Like, I don't have to, no money transaction involved. He doesn't want any, like, useless golden rings or anything. Hey. Give me your light chips. Light chips are delicious. They're just like regular chips, but with less calories. fight the robots. I know that now. You don't fight the robots in this game. Really, that's... Oh. That's... So weird. I went right through a thing and then died randomly. Okay, it's, that seems buggy. I'm surprised the QA team missed that when they were producing this. That's really strange. Hmm. Huh. Jump off of it. Okay. Huh. Whoa, that's a big one. Oh, there's a whale. Uh, I should go on this bridge. I'll be safe from the whale up here. Oh, fuck. Jump. That whale can break bridges. Oh, he's going faster now. Hmm. I don't think this game is very good. That didn't, that didn't seem fun at all. This was made by Sega, right? The service games. The Hedgehogs people? They made Hedgehogs? The chaperone does not seem very responsible. I'm, Try to...
talk to one of these, uh, these town guardsmen, hey. see if they can help. Now there's a man The hey. You just say the same thing. One seemed terribly concerned with helping. Yeah. This town looks pretty, but underneath... I think there's some darkness there. I, he slides for a very long time. Hmm. It's kind of... It's almost like he, it's like he slides forever. It's like an infinite slide I just got. That... That two-tailed hover fox is certainly making a lot of noise, I have to be honest. He keeps dying and coming back to life and dying and coming back to life. It's like... He can't be killed. Some sort of god fox. Hey, I can finally see your face. Now it's my turn. What does that mean? That made no sense. Wow, his quills really do just wobble in place. Listen to me. I like how they designed this boss with almost no offensive capabilities whatsoever. Like, he jumps down and does like the fiery thing and like that's it. Like, other than that, they designed no kind of, like, oppositional aspect to the way this character operates. Like, he just runs. Panther Corn defeated once again. Sonic is king of panther corns. When that song comes on, I like to close my eyes and pretend that I'm not playing Sonic 06. I'm doing something else, like... watching somebody else play Sonic 06. It's not a great thought, but it's hard to make them when you're playing Sonic 06. This is just like Journey. Awesome. I'm thinking back to that review that we read on the Overtime bonus episode of that person that was like... They said like, is Sonic 06 the best Sonic game? No. Is it one of my faves? Yes. And, I mean, other than the use of the word fave, I was... Like, I couldn't really put my finger on it at the time. I was kind of wondering, like, what about the way that person was speaking seemed so strange and I think what it was was it was like the first time I had heard someone talking about Sonic 06 in a way that didn't characterize the game as something that was done to them you know it is one of my faves like it like is versus was like it's a thing that continues to be not like an experience that they went through and are now struggling to get over. I'm so happy. <laughs> I 
I'm looking as I'm playing this game. I have my Twitter open in this window over here, and I just started using my old Twitter account that I started like two years ago or something, and then, or th like three or four years ago, and then I started using a, uh, the podcast account for our, I mean, the Twitter account for our podcast once we started doing a podcast. So I was just looking, reading over my old tweets, and I just saw this one that said, just bought a PS3 on eBay, the old MGS4 <laughs> bundle. No motherfuckers giving me a PS3 that can't play crime live gang wars. What? Smile. Oh, hedgehog romance. Touch my nose. Touch my nose. Touch it. Touch it. No. Oh, so close. This scene is prime material for YouTube Sonic the Hedgehog music videos. Like the, as the butterfly's flying away, that can be like the opening. You could, you could play that over like the opening to like Bring Me to Life by Evanescence. You know, boom, 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 boom. Oh, why am I watching this? God damn it. Oh, no, I know why I was watching it. It's my favorite cutscene in the game. Time for you to disappear, Iblis Trigger! It's no use! This oh, will end no! It. Great. <laughs> oh great. It's no use. Jesus Christ. No. No. <laughs> oh my god. I really didn't think that would happen. It's no use. Gee, oh my what? Holy shit, are you kidding me? Ugh. He's right behind me, isn't he? Good God! Oh my god. It's no use. Are you <sighs> This will end it. No. Got to be fucking kidding me. This. No. no. I'm like trying to home I'm trying to home no Oh. Oh my god. This is like, this fight is broken in new beautiful ways I wasn't even aware of. It's no use! This will- No! Take this! It's no use! Are you kidding? Look at this. Like this weird boss fight where the only viable strategy is to run for your life. It's like Dark Souls or something. God. I honestly thought that that battle was going to be no challenge at all now that I knew what I was supposed to do. That was ridiculous. Hey! Stick to the wall! Yeah. This 
with like talk to, talk to guards in between loading screens is my favorite mission in Sonic 06. I got you. That was incredible. Yep, I'm pretty incredible. Ugh. Like the load times, I mean, we all know the load times in this game are terrible, but when you already know what to do in the game, so you just go straight to it. It, like the game just becomes nothing but load screens the better you are the more the game is just load screen the game god like when poke captain like when his let's play was all done you know he like recorded all the load times like how long each one was and then compared that against the total amount of time it took them to play through the game and came up with a figure that was like 10 and a half percent of all the game all the time they spent in Sonic 06 was at a load screen imagine how high the percentage is for load screens for people that know what they're doing like they've played the game before and they really like the game so they're really good at it like it must be like 60 percent load screens Maybe they just really love loading screens, and that's what it is. Maybe that explains why people like this game. This honestly might be my least favorite part of the game. It's just so soul-crushing. Now I'm looking at another one of my old tweets. And I have... it's, it's in reply to somebody. But this person, their their account is protected, so I can't read the tweet anymore. But me, like, so I'm trying to figure out what he said that prompted my response. Here's my response. Thank God, this whole time I was worried I'd have to open this champagne bottle with my hands like a normal human being. Like, what could that have possibly been? Like, maybe he linked to, like, instructions on how to open a champagne bottle with a sword or something. Fight enemies. A and then A again, all the enemies run to new location. A and then A again, the enemies in new location. Ride broken snowboard mechanic. I mean, they really just... I mean, literally, like, what they just did was, like, they wanted this to take longer, so they put in a section where I had to wait between two loading screens and then push the A button a bunch of times. Like, oh, I, I'm gonna go to this new level. Like, wait! push the A that button a lot. Incredible. It's like, I just got done pushing the A button for 15 straight minutes. Could I just go to the level? Nope. Push the A button more times. You haven't pushed the A button enough. Oh, right, man. Let's cut a sick line. Carve a sick line. <laughs> Whatever it is snowboarders say. What the hell was it when I was posting the original episode with this snowboard section in it? I was trying to find, like, a good quote to put in it, like, see if I could find some weird, ominous, dark quote that also somehow involved snowboarding. It didn't go well, but I did stumble upon some Yahoo Answer thing where someone just posted, like, Hi! I hang out with a lot of people that snowboard, and I really enjoy their outlook on life. What are people's favorite 
quotes from snowboarders. And then there was just a bunch of people just listing the most bizarre shit. Like, I scare the hell out of myself every day. I am a snowboarder. But, like, not even attributed to anybody. Not even, like, I like this one person way too much. And I think this dumb thing that they said is, like, funny and insightful and clever. It was just like, here's a thing a person said. And it was like... I'll nose press your box if you lip slide my rail. Aha! Because really, isn't life just one big sexual snowboarding innuendo when you really get right down to it? Man, those snowboarders really have it figured out. God! That tail section is the worst thing. Every time I get to something, I decide it's like my new least favorite part of the game. Like, oh yeah, fighting all those robots at the dock, that was like the worst part of the game. Like, oh wait, no, being tails in the ice level, man, that was like the worst part of the game. You know what the worst part of this game is? Any of the parts in this game. The, the part that you're currently at is the worst part of Sonic 06. I'm getting close, right? Yeah, now I go to the future. Back to the future. Remember that? That joke? I haven't made that enough, I don't think. Knuckles falls on his head because he's a dummy. He's a knucklehead. Fuck this game. Yes. Oh, I did it! Oh! I've never seen anyone hit that rail from that jump. So aggravating. This game is so bad. Like it's just so crazily broken in the weirdest ways. Ugh. And then it gives me the loading screen like right before the jump, but then I don't actually hit the jump. This is the best game. Okay. Yes. Sweet. Taking a new route. That's how it's done. God damn it, he hits his head every time. Like, just the most insane things. Just like. Like, don't even bother to fix that. It's just like, does he. Like. Ugh! Like, how do, how do you not fix that? How do you not just make him jump, like, one inch? lower so that you don't almost die every time you hit that ramp in this level. Like, how do you not do that? I haven't died yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat Crisis City without dying. That's what I'm shooting for. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna prove that it can be done by humans. hit that checkpoint, but I don't need it because I'm not going to die. Yes. I 
Okay. Just this. Just comes down to this. I can do this. Wipe the sweat off my palms. That tornado's carrying a car. God, this is the worst game. Like, you're supposed to dodge all these cars, but they just fly everywhere. God, the worst physics. Like, every part of this game either has, like, no discernible obstacles or, like, the most insane, unpredictable, un inescapable obstacles ever. That tornado's carrying it like, these fucking boxes, like, how do you dodge boxes that are being scattered by flying cars? What is, like, how do you not play this section of the game and just go, like, not even, like, not even, like, you redesign the thing or change anything. Like, in the scenario where, like, Sonic Team had two weeks to make this game, how do you not just say, hey, let's cut back on the boxes? It's not so many boxes. How is that not just a thing that you you think of and then do? slow down on the result screen. So I, I did it one death. I died on the mock speed section once. I still think that's a victory. And, uh... Is that it? Oh no! Flame core. Fuck! Flame core and then Iblis. I thought I, thought I was out. Why? Well, I, I should have known better. Which really is no like where we... that. That's really the theme of this entire thing that I'm doing. I thought I was out, but I'm I'm still here. It's like at the end of a movie or a game or something where you just beat, you've defeated the villain, and you think it's over. You're like walking away with your arm around the beautiful girl, but then no, the hand reaches back up. have to go back and fight the Sephiroth in your mind. God, this fucking level. What? I almost fell off and then I was running backwards. Now I hit a wall. Now I'm on fire. Just over an hour though, not bad. Made made pretty good time on this one. Hey, let's run across the wall and not fall off. Great. Man, it's super weird that I fell into the lava like this. Just when you know everything that sucks about this game, like, it just never stops finding ways to screw you. Gotta be careful not to fall off. Oh. If I use a homing attack on that monster, I'll be able to reach the other side. Yes. Okay. I'm not gonna... What the fuck? 
Great, I got past it, but with zero lives. Which is like worse than getting a game over, because now I have to play the entire level and never die. His weak point is pressing A and then A again. Gotta press A and then A again to defeat him. His weak point. Fuck you. This bridge is gonna collapse any minute. This bridge that is collapsing is gonna collapse any minute. Did that Iblis spawn just turn into a crate? To rewind that footage. Oh. Awesome. Secret. You don't have to run across the wall. Oh my god damn it. That makes my life so much easier. Of course now that I know I'm never gonna have to use that knowledge ever again. Okay, maybe I will. Holy shit. That is the most fucked thing in the world. What a view. Oh, right, the checkpoint was right behind the birds that keep shooting me out of the air and letting me fall to my death. Of course. <sighs> Great. This is exciting. I'm not saying anything, so I don't I don't have anything left. It's so miserable. Okay. Wow! I hit that ring! That's a thing that you can actually do! Knuckles. Oh my god. No. Knuckles didn't trigger. That's hilarious. But actually now, if I can't... If I can't act... Oh, I can activate these. So I'm just doing the Knuckles part as Sonic. Great. Hmm. I probably can't make it. I gotta go back and be Knuckles, but that is pretty funny. I'll take care of it. I guess we didn't show it before. Oh, 
Thank you, Knuckles. Thank you, Knuckles. So close to the end. Just leave this to me. So here he is. The final boss of Sonic 06, as far as I'm concerned. It's a little too far to attack. Is there some way to draw him in? Sexy worm dance. Ugh, so dead inside. I forgot, like... It really doesn't come across in watching the videos of us playing through this game, like, just how agonizing it is to actually play it. Like, I just completely forgot how awful this is. The devil's greatest trick was convincing the world he didn't exist. Penis joke. I, that's right, penis joke. Sonic, it's coming. Yeah! It's coming. Oh no, I have no rings, I have no rings. It's dazed from the impacts. Now's your chance, Sonic! Yeah, got him! Take that, Iblis Baby. Oh god, I'm so tired. I'm so dead. Oh, man. That was 90 minutes of awful. Oh, my world acoustic, his world acoustic, whatever you're called. You can only do so much. Oh, that was awful. I have, a, I have a fun idea. Let's never do that ever again. <laughs> what does the Daily Soriana say? Don't don't. Alright, for anybody who was dumb enough to watch this video for this long, I'm gonna try to do that crate glitch. That, uh, oh, great, I'm stuck on the crates. Alright, now I'm back. I'm gonna try to do that crate glitch that someone posted to, link to. God damn it. So, I'm so far gone. Someone, someone linked to that video of the crate glitch in the thread. I'm gonna try to do it, because we did it on the part of the video that got lost, but... Come on. Nope. It's, it's a little more difficult with 
Tails and Knuckles trying to ruin everything. Come on. Oh, oh. There it was. God damn it. There it goes. Oh! Let's try that one more time. Oh, there we go. Ah. Oh, I got it. Oh, oh no. I was gonna go into space. Oh, there we go. Ah. I'm not giving up on this. Get the fuck out of here, you guys. God damn it. What don't they ruin? What? Oh, yes, here I go. I'm going. Oh, great. We're going to space. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> awesome. See if I can fall through one of the buildings or something. Ah, uh, nope, nope. Well, there's that. 